Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So yes, if you notice the background, we finally picked up a shelf today at Target. So I was able to go ahead and put my candles out on display. So yes, that's exciting. Somebody was uh, saying that how I should display them. And I was like, yes, I'm waiting for a day off. That way I can go out grab a shelf, put it together. This shelf was so easy to put together. And I'm also able to display some like seasonal decor items up top there. So I'm excited for the new background. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. I'm loving it. So yes, we're excited. We're ready for Valentine's Day. So in today's video, we're gonna go over my final thoughts for semi-annual sale for winter 2023 edition. So we're gonna go over the 75% off selection. We're gonna go over what was at semi-annual sale. We're also going to go over my community poll so we did two different community polls and then i'm going to do my final thoughts and then we're going to go over my favorite things that i picked up at semi-annual sale for this past season so i'm excited for this video hopefully you guys are too so let's go ahead and get started here all right so let's start off with the 75 percent off selection i feel like it was hit or miss throughout the weeks but there towards the end of the sale it was really starting to ramp up it seemed like almost everything was 75 percent off so that was awesome so we had perfumes, we had the Gingham Perfume, Wild Sands, Love Always Wins. Those ended up going 75% off. We also had some colognes go 75% off. So that would have been Woodlands, Flannel, Whiskey Reserve. So those are all really good choices. We also had some uh, soaps and wallflowers galore 75% off at the end of the sale. Like that's all you could really find was just a ton of wallflowers and a ton of soaps. We had some fall soaps, some Christmas soaps. And then we had a decent amount of body care that was 75% off. So a lot of that Christmas body care that we had at the end of the year, all of that was 75% off. And then the $4.95 body care tables, not really far off from the 75% off price point. So a lot of 75% off body care. There was a ton of single wicks for 75% off. The amount of single wicks that I seen at some of those stores was crazy. So I'd say overall, it was a pretty good selection for 75% off throughout the sale. So let's talk about what was at semi-annual sale that is usually not there. And that was a ton of Halloween stuff. Like there was just a ton of 75% off decor. There was body care, candles, single wick candles, the three wick candles. I mean, just Halloween galore at semi-annual sale this past winter, which usually never happens. I know my friend Cammie from Key to Disney and Fragrance, she found a Luminary Castle for 75% off. That is just crazy. So yes, great find for her on that one. Like I was so happy that she finally got a Luminary. So this is the first year that me and her both got Luminaries. Woohoo. Uh, so let's talk about the collections. There was no like new collections besides one collection that was kind of floating around. And that was the like Confident, Dreamy, and radiant collection so these never showed up at my stores i shopped a lot of the stores and i never found the other parts to this collection so we might have to uh, purchase them online someday but this one was the confident i did purchase this at the outlet way before semi-annual sale so this is a uh, dragon fruit passionate petals vibrant vanilla super super amazing I really wish I was able to get like the shower gel and the body cream to go ahead and like finish the collection. And even the other ones, so there was Radiant, there was Dreamy, there was like uh, purple, orange, and blue. Just an amazing collection. So, so sad that those did not make it to my stores. So nothing really too exciting, no like rare gems. So we did have a lot of repackages though. So I would say it was the year of repackages for Bath & Body Works for 2023. So we got the Pink Suede. We got the Endless Weekend, Forever Sunshine, that whole Y2K collection. That was all repackages from previous years. And again, repackages aren't always a bad thing. But if you already have uh, most of these in your collection, of course, you're not going to want to rebuy them. So yeah, a lot of repackages. So not a whole lot of like new body care to purchase here. But I will say there was a lot of sales leading up to semi-annual sale. We had the body care day sale. We had candle day. We also had some uh, set price point sale. So I know I participated in the $5.95 uh, body care sale. That was like maybe a uh, two or three weeks before uh, semi-annual sale, maybe a little bit uh, longer. But yeah, I participated in the $5.95 body care sale, so I didn't really need a whole lot of body care at semi-annual sale. So good on my pockets there. 
And again, these are all just my opinions and my thoughts on what I experienced at semi-annual sale this year. So I did want to talk about your guys' experience and your guys' thoughts though. So I did do a poll on my community page on day one and day 18. So on day one, we got 269 votes. So for the amazing sale, we got 0%. And then we got, it's going okay. We got 22%. Very underwhelmed, that was 64%. So more than half of the vote was very underwhelmed. And then we have not shopping. So that was 14% of the people that was not shopping who voted. So then we move to day 18, where we got 343 votes. So thank you guys all so much for voting. We have best sass ever, 1%. 1% thought it was the best sass ever. So that would have been what, three or four votes. We have, uh, it was okay, that was 60%. So it's it was nice to see uh, it's going okay, going from 22% all the way up to 60%. So they kind of flipped here. And then the worst SAS ever, we got 37%. And we got, what is SAS? I always love to put in that what is because it's always interesting to see how many people don't really know about semi-annual sale. And we got 3%. So 3% of the voters did not even know what semi-annual sale sale was or SAS. So it's good to see that everyone landed in like that kind of okay, just a little bit underwhelmed. And that's kind of how like I landed as well. I thought it was okay. It wasn't the best SAS ever. It wasn't amazing, but it was okay. I was very satisfied. Okay, so for my final thoughts here, I got, I thought it was good. Great selection of things for my taste, for my collection. I do think that last winter semi-annual sale for 2022 was a lot better. So my first few videos here on my channel from 2023 was from the 2022 winter semi-annual sale. And we definitely went pretty ham there. Uh, but what can you do in a year of repackages, you know? Not a whole lot to buy if you already have a lot of these scents here. So overall, I would say that I'm pretty satisfied with winter semi-annual sale 2023. I was happy with the selection, everything that I picked up, and I was happy that I behaved myself this year. Uh, if, yeah, like I said, if you watched my semi-annual sale hauls from last year, I definitely went pretty hard. So very happy that I kind of, you know, toned it back a little bit, didn't really get a whole lot, didn't go too crazy. So let's go ahead and jump into my favorite things here from semi-annual sale winter 2023 edition. So let's start off with the candles. So we did get some 75% off candles here. I was able to find a firecracker pop candle. This was like $6 and some change. And this one is red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. Very, very good candle. I will always repurchase firecracker pop. It definitely has a great throw. Love that cherry, berry, citrusy note that I get from it. Yeah, this one is very, very good. So I was very happy with this candle. Love the luminary candles. We have a cool firecracker lid here, a little fireworks going off there. So I thought that was an amazing find. And then online, they had some 75% off candles. So we did end up picking up three more of the Happy Hanukkahs online for 75% off. Such a good blueberry donut powdered sugar candle. Love this one. So we now have six of these. Super, super happy about that. And then we also found, so for 50% off, we did find little gift set candles here, which Cammie messaged me on Instagram. She just found these for 75% off. So yes, go Cammie. So very, very excited to own these. All right, and then we have some candle holders. So for 75% off, I did find the purple and blue candle holder. Love this one. Can't wait to put this one out this year. We also found the snowflake for 50% off. This came down to like $15. These did end up going 75% off as well. So good job if you snag this up for like $7. And then for $22, they finally put the Santa Sleigh Water Glow for sale for 75% off. So I was super, super happy to add this to the collection. Love it, love it, love it. It does light up. It's got some glitter in there. All right, so then we did find some more home decor items here. So one of my favorite finds was the liquor decanter and the two whiskey glasses. I got these for 75% off and I wanted these so, so bad. And I was like, just wait, wait, wait. And I am so glad that I waited. So yes, you can go ahead and pour some good juice in here. 
go ahead and get that back on there. So 75% off, I was so happy to find these. And then some more good, awesome home decor finds. I found the Santa Train Wallflower plugin. This was $9.99, and I was so happy to find it. This is going to match the train, the luminary, like, beautifully. So, so excited about that. I did find this for, like, dirt cheap. This was, like, $2 and some change, a little car fragrance holder. Love that. And then we did find some socks. So, a bunch of 75% off socks here. We got some cool little rainbow gem items. I feel like I did find some little rainbow gem items here. And that are these little, like, gift set socks. So, super happy about that. And then body care. I was super happy to find a groovy watermelon for 75% off. Oh, it just smells like watermelon candy. It's so good. So, yes. Yeah, so, super happy about that. We did find some colognes here. So, for 50% off, I found the Manhattan Nightcap. Love this one. And then for 75% off, we found the Smooth Amber. So, yes, we found some colognes this season. And then I found four of the End to the Night little travel size perfumes here. So, I do not have the full size bottle. So, super happy to have a little stash of these. A little stock up pile. And then for Home Fragrance, I was so happy to add this to the collection. Some more of the Spellbinding Sweets little hand soap here we found a moonlit graveyard in the concentrated room spray i don't think we're getting this scent back or this scent so i had to stock up on them and then we found some a bunch of wallflower refills but my favorites were definitely pistachio toasted vanilla and hot cocoa and cream love 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 love, love these and then the last thing that my probably my top favorite thing that i found for 75% off, we got the Sip, Sparkle, and Celebrate box. Yes! So, the whole reason for getting this box was for the Champagne Toast Fine Fragrance Mist Ornament. So, super, super cool. So, yes, I had to add this to the collection. I have been starting to collect the ornaments now. So, we just had to have this. But, I just, I don't know. I waited on it, and then it kind of, like, passed by. It sold out. Couldn't find it anywhere. And I didn't really want to spend $80 just to get a fine fragrance mist ornament. So, I was able to find the box for, like, $23, $26. Such an amazing deal. So, yes. All right, so that is my semi-annual sale wrap-up here for winter 2023. My final thoughts and my favorite things from this season. So yeah, it was a very exciting winter semi-annual sale for me. I hope you guys had a great winter semi-annual sale. I know a lot of people were disappointed, but we're always going to have more semi-annual sales to enjoy. So summer semi-annual sale will be here before we know it, I'm sure. But before we get out of here and go ahead and end this video, I do want to say one thing. So just remember to to always be courteous always be kind to people in the comments there's always a difference between being rude and uh, asking like an honest question so all I ask for you guys to just be kind in the comments uh, I don't there's no need for negativity and people arguing you know we definitely don't want or need that over here so just always remember be kind be courteous to each other and I love you guys I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you guys in a little bit for my little sweetheart cherry wrap-up video